Kowalski. We're ready to rumble. All right, so what do we got here? Day 102. All right. Halloween fusion is upon us. This is our fusion uh, that we're not going to do, but kind of. We're sort of going to do it. It's not going to be like a total loss here. Um, so basically, we are on day 102. We have just gotten some potions, which is very nice. This, is, this came at the perfect time, actually, because I need potions to do part of the fusion that we're doing. Uh, this, I believe the fusion lasts two weeks, and we'll be getting this nice chunk of energy here to help us out in the middle of it. Now, I'm basically going to be doing the same thing that we did last time with Tomo. So I'm getting the... Here we go. Nope, we're not doing that. I am getting this epic. All right, so we will be getting him. We're not using him, but we can get him. So I'm, I'm just going to collect random heroes, you know, during this time. I'm not going to use them as food. Like, I'm not going to do any of that stuff. But we are going to get some of them because, hey, you never know. Like I said, you know, I don't know if this stream will go forever. We don't know anything. Who the hell knows? Um, but either way, we're going to keep him, you know, just in case later on down the road we want to decide to, you know, maybe even use him and showcase him. I may not use them in content. I may just use them as a showcase hero, you know, down the road um, once we have kind of done everything that we can do with this account. Uh, that could be a year from now. I don't know. So, but that's why I'm collecting them. He's a cool hero. I kind of like him almost as much as I like Tomo. So, yeah, we're definitely going to get him. Uh, but it's also to show you that you can get some of these heroes without really working too hard. You can get a good group of epics without having to summon anything. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting five of this hero, possibly more. I don't know, because I'm going to be, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to level him because it's, it's a rare and I can, I can pull her. I can pull her now. So getting her during this event or pulling her, it's still a hero that you can get. So these are all the new faction. The, what are they called? I forgot what they're called, to be honest. Oh, you want to buy stuff? Here we go. Here we go. Index. They are called... The Sylvian Watchers. So this is the new faction. So it would be good to start building up a few heroes to, uh, you know, do the factions, the, the faction wars when they come out. But the problem is, there's no rares yet. So for this account, it kind of doesn't really do much for us. So yeah, I'll pick up Orn and we'll go from there. So because I'm definitely going to need at least the rare to do some work in that faction. Hopefully they release a couple new ones. So how are we going to go about this? We're going to do. I learned from the last fusion. Um, I've seen fusions before, and I never really did them, to be honest. Like, I always looked at them, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, the amount of resources required to try to get this brand new legendary really requires you to kind of have been saving for it, uh, and I don't do that. The other thing is, is you really shouldn't be saving up for these fusions if you're, you know, three, four months in, because... You've got more important stuff to do than try to get this hero. Um, if you're pulling shards like normal, you probably already have at least a legendary at this point. Uh, you may even have a couple legendaries. Who the hell knows? Uh, you might have Death Knight and Deliana or a couple of other heroes that were given to free. You know, If you've been playing for a while, you might have Ninja. Who knows? So this isn't really super important. She doesn't do anything super special that is better than Haikatoon or any of the other speed heroes. So is she good? Yes. But is she something that we need? No. She doesn't really help us in what we're trying to do right now. So uh, it's not going to change anything if I don't get her. However, like I said, I do want to get him because he is really good. And we've got some really cool kit with poison. So he definitely would be good for clan boss, possibly. Uh, he is good for running dungeons. I've seen a few videos about it. And yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good hero. And then this one we're going to build. Now, what we need to do is we need a bunch of magic potions, which is why I said it happened really perfectly that I got those 20 potions. Because we need to get these all the four star ascended, and that's all I need. So I don't need to go crazy with all these. All right, I'm not trying to get a second copy of Orn. I don't care. So what I would like to do, though, is you know possibly pick up a couple extra copies to give her her skills. And she doesn't really have a lot of skills, I think. She had nine books, I think, when I looked. Yeah, four here. And five here, yeah. So she only needs nine books. So technically speaking, you could, if you're going crazy, you have 12 chances here to get her a skill book. All right. So 
you could conceivably max your skills just from this event if you go a little crazy. But if you're going that far to max these out, then you know you're probably going to be shooting for this anyway. But how are we doing this? So there is some tournaments going on. Since I'm not going for the legendary, th and just so you know, for this fusion, the legendary you need to get all 16 of them. So that's not happening. Uh, so this is the Fire Knight. Loading very slow. All right. So this is the Fire Knight. As you can see, I have zero points here. Uh, I probably won't be doing this. So we're going to skip this one. Uh, you cannot skip this if you are going for the full fusion. But we're skipping it. I don't really care about this stuff too much. I would like to get these coins if I'm bored, you know, in the next two days and I finish the other ones that I need to do. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm trying to farm gear. So honestly, doing this wouldn't be terrible. However, there's a dragon... A dragon one coming up and a spider. Those, however, I am doing because I do need the gear. So I'm going to do that and get the points and get the hero and get more gear. So I'm going to use this this fusion as an opportunity to get some more gear. I don't just do the fusions because I want the hero. Like I'm doing them because I want the hero and the things that are coming up I can do easily. Like, there's an arena tournament one. I'll finish that one easily. There's a tag team, probably. I'll finish that easily. The champion chase, they actually made really easy this time for the first hero, which would be, which is really good right here. So as you can see, I already started doing... I already have, what, 1,900 points? 1,850 points? Uh, we did get a new promo code, which is... Which one's the one that just came out? Look behind you. So that's a new promo code that just came out. Look behind you. Literally, that's what it is. Just spell it out. Uh, you got a, I got a couple of energies and some other stuff, some other goodies. So really, we were trying to get to here, possibly get to you know this little area since we're already going to be here, and this is a four-day event. I may just spend my whole time, you know, doing this champion training because I have to do it anyway. So I might as well just champion train and then get these extra goodies. If it gets crazy, which I don't think I will. I mean, it's four days. I I don't know how many points I'll gain. It really just depends on how much energy I have, to be honest. Uh, I do get another 300, hopefully, from the... What is that? From Tag Team in a day. So, And I get the 650. Like, th like there's things that are going to happen in the next few days. Actually, no, the 650 I won't get before this ends. Yeah, because we have four days left. But, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll keep going on it. I mean, there's nothing bad here that I can get, I can get that's going to hurt me. It's not like training champions is, is not going to help me. So, yeah, I'm going to do them consecutively. Uh, and hopefully get some good rewards. I mean, I'll take the 30 gems, I'll take these coins, and from there, I, I don't really care anymore. Like, if I don't make any of these, it's not going to be the end of the world. Would I like any of this if I end up hitting it? Yes, I'll take all of it. You know, every, literally everything up to here. This whole row is awesome. So there's nothing here I wouldn't take. But I'm not going to hit this. I mean, I hit, what, 1,850 points in one day with a bunch of extra energy stuff that was given to me. So even if I stayed at that same... Thing for four day, four more days. I mean, I'll be lucky to hit, you know, eight to ten thousand points, which means this is as high as I could conceivably go if I'm really, you know, pushing, and all of my energy goes into this. So yeah, it's up to here would be good because then it saves me having to do another event if I don't want to. So there we go. And I'd like, to, and we need to. I want to get them early because I want to finish it early so I can ignore this whole thing. That's the whole point. So I really want to just get them early, and then any of the ones I pick up along the way for extra is great. Um, and that's how we're going to do it. Artifact enhancement, I am not doing. I enhanced a couple things for a new hero. I got to like 8 and ended up getting, or 8 or 12, I forgot what it was. And I got this 50 energy real quick just because I wanted it. Uh, I will not be doing any more in, I will not be doing any more enhancing in here. If it happens, it'll happen on accident because I get a new hero and I need to level. Why am I doing that? Reason being is there's going to be two of these. Artifact enhancement is very expensive. Uh, you get what? Here, look. Let's see. A six star, 16, gets you 340 points. So that means if you upgraded 10 six star items to level 16, you would have 3,400 points. So if you, uh, if you have 10, level t 10 six star items, you still would only get to here. So you'd have to upgrade about 12 of them. And most people at this point in the stage aren't going to have 12 six-star items that are just sitting on to, to level to 16. You also don't want to waste your time leveling garbage gear. So that's not going to happen. 
So more than likely, we're in this range where we're going to get four to five. We may have one or two sixes, but more than likely, we're going to be in this range right now. So that means five stars are going to give us nothing, 12. Uh, however, you will get like 200 and something points. So that means if you do a four and a five, you're going to get about, we'll just call it 500 points, all right, in the middle. So you're going to get 500 points for doing two of these. So that means you will need to do that eight times. So that means 16 pieces of gear. So it's a lot. You don't want to do it twice. There's no point, especially if you're not going for the legendary and you didn't save any resources. So basically, we're going to do the champion training now, skip this, and while we're champion training, we're going to get a lot of silver. Now, I literally just had over 2 million, do 2 million silver. I went back down to zero, and then I started um, training again to get more silver again because I'm, gonna, I'm building up my stuff, getting ready for the artifact enhancement. So what we're doing right now is I actually forgot that on him, I had a piece that was still level 12 right here. It was still level 12. So I upgraded it to 15, all right, and I'm going to do that on all my heroes that I'm using. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't thinking I should have leveled all these to 15 back when I was, because I was champion training. I had a ton. I was leveling up uh, this guy, this girl to level 60, and I did do it, by the way. In my last video, I said I could probably get her to six star um, pretty quick, and I did. So I used all my energy to level her up, and now she's 60, and she's ready for the quest. I just got to get her to 60, and she's done. Uh, I did level a lot of her stuff to 16 recently. Uh, I did. I got this new piece here, which I added onto her, which is nice, six star uh, weapon. So she's actually been pretty damn beastly. But anything that I haven't leveled, like right here, 15, I'm leaving it at 15. All right. And then I believe here is where I'm also going. So see, I started doing him. So 15 right here, 15 right here, and I have a couple of other pieces. I'm gonna level I, this i'll probably do maybe no i won't do that one i don't know what i'm gonna do i might i'm definitely doing his weapon i don't really want to waste my time 16 going to 16 on these two though i want to wait until i get better pieces because i want a crit rate on the glove and i would like to get some speed boost i mean yeah 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 possibly i don't know we'll see but either way i don't want to level gear i don't like so definitely this piece will go to 15 definitely the accessories will go to 15 and then I'll be moving into him. And I think all his gear is right. Yeah, crit rate, accuracy. Uh, I mean, I'm not happy with the accuracy. I'd like to get something better, but whatever. Speed, and then these are all good. So I'm not, this isn't the best gear set I could have on him, and I'm definitely looking to switch a few things out. But yeah, I'll be going to 15 on all this gear if I can. Literally as many as I can. Because I want to be able to do the artifact enhancement literally the second I log in. I'm just going to save all my silver after I level a bunch of these up. So right now I have, where are we at? We just started, and we still have a while before that one comes up. So we have one piece here. Wait, where was I? Was I on him? Yeah, so one piece there. I don't have any on him. We have one here, so that's two. Three, four we have. So we're at four, and I literally just started today doing this. And another day, I'll probably get another four. So within the next few days, I'll probably have somewhere between 10 to 20 pieces, if I had to guess, depending on how hard I go, because um, I'm also going to be doing some other events. So it really just depends on how the events pop up. So I will be leveling a lot of these at 15, which is good because I want all these guys maxed anyway, these three right here. All right, so we want Coffin Smasher, Badachi, and Crimson Slayer max level 16. All right, this is how I want them to look, essentially until I get to the quest where I have to ascend them and get their banners. Now, what I will also do is if I run out of things to do on these guys, am I going to go level up another hero and, you know, try to get them? No, I'm not. We're not going to do that. I want only my main characters built. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, and as you can see, I also started this one. So this one I can upgrade. Actually, I think I already have enough to, if I'm lucky. Let's see how lucky I am. Not lucky at all. See, that's 600k gone. So this is why it sucks and why you don't want to do one um, you don't want to do the first one. You want to save up as much silver as possible because something like that might happen where you click a button and all of a sudden a million silver is gone for one level, right? So don't get upset if that happens. It's going to happen. Like, am I upset that it happened? No, whatever. I don't care. 600k at this point to me is it, when you're farming brutal at this point, it's nothing. Now, I finished um, I finished the Guardian Ring. So I have all the heroes for... Barbarian, for Lizardmen, for uh, Knight's Revan, 
and demon spawn. We're done, 100%. And when I say done, I mean I have all the heroes from those levels completely skill max, and then I have every single one of these look like this now. All right, so they're done. So I have four of these faction guardians, 100% done. All right, so now I'm going to be moving into a different one. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to do high elves because I have a lot to replace. So I think we're going to do that next, and I have to get her and the other one that counterattacks. There's two elves that drop in that level. So we're going to just bang this out real quick, and that way I can take these heroes out of here and get their skills leveled. So we always want to have heroes in here that you can farm, always, because these you're not going to get as often, and you want to use the doubles as skill books, okay? So we want to get these guys out of here. Get this closed. More skill books. That's what we want. So that's the next section there. All right, now as far as um, anything else in here, we did the fusion, the, was it the fusion training? We're definitely gonna get this book here, which is really good. We have, what's her face, Crimson, Crimson Slayer, whatever her name is. We've been moving around, moving pretty quickly on her, to be honest. So yeah, we still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We still need 11 books. So we got a few in there, which, which from the uh, Clan Gold, and stuff like that. So I did get a couple levels and I got a couple extra books and I'll be getting a bunch hopefully during this event, which is the other reason that I want to do it because skill books. Uh, skill books are the toughest thing to come by and I need to finish her and I need to finish him. So, and he needs, he doesn't need as much. He needs like 11 books. So we're definitely going to be trying to push for books in this event. Any section that I can do to get me a book is good. Uh, and we did pick him up again, Mr. Templar. I used him for the fusion so I didn't have him and I actually farmed the level a little bit but I ended up pulling him from shards. So I was like, oh, good, now I can build him. So he's level 28, I'll get him to 40 tomorrow because I'm champion training, so he'll be 40. Now, with the champion training, I've been bad, but I know I have time, which is why I've been bad. And I know I can I can bang out a, a bunch of four-star hero, four heroes to 40 very quickly. So it's not like, it's, it's, it's gonna take energy, it's really all it's gonna take. Um, but it's not hard to do it, and it doesn't take long. So what we've been doing, is leveling up a bunch of heroes to level three, to three star, so that we can start building up those heroes as we get them. All right, so we do have a bunch of heroes here that I'm working on. I will be doing some more two stars. I did level up another hero. Actually, I got another hero. Who did I get? Oh, I got another Shadowkin. That's who it was. So I, I got him to 40, and he's fully ascended. Same thing with this one. I'll be getting him to 30, leveling up to 40, ascending, and then moving forward. The only people I won't ascend if I pull them right now are blue because I need the magic for the event. Okay, so we're not going to do that. So, yeah, we're building him. He's actually really good. Just to be clear, this guy has a lot of really good skills and will be very helpful to certain parts of the game. All right, so if you ever do pull him a, a second time after the, you fuse whatever that hero was, it, um, I forgot his name, Relic Warden or whatever, whatever the hell his name is. He's not important. That's all I know. So... We did get him. Level him if you get him. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we do have the spider coming up, and we do have dragon. Like I said, I'm going to be farming those because my gear is very slim pickings right now as far as like good pieces of gear. I went through and I sold a lot of four-star stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really have too much gear right now. Like I, I, I'm really missing gloves and boots is what I need. So that's what I will be pushing for. I cannot wait. That's also why I'm trying to push this arena thing really quickly to get through this quest because I want to start farming 15. There we go. We can sell these. Um, I want to push level 15 on the dungeons for the quest so that I can get some more gear from those quests because they all drop good gear and that's what we want. Uh, HP speed. No, we don't want that. So yeah, as you can see, I sold a lot of shit and this one's probably going to end up going eventually. A lot of this stuff's gone. I, this, like, I only keep these because of the crit rate. And it's really good for getting crit rate up on certain on my faction war heroes. So I will keep these for now. Um, and that's it. Uh, I used a couple pieces of this for, I think, for this guy. What did I put him in? Yeah, I, I took two resists, two accuracies, and two HP defense. So he's, he's well-rounded because I want him to have resist and accuracy. Um, so, yeah, it's a good. He should be as much defense as possible. So we do have him in a defense plate, speed boots. I have a defense glove, because his, but his crit rate's gonna be low. But eh, he's more there to provoke, so it's not the end of the world right now. I can build this crit up if I get just one good piece with a good crit rate on it, because he hits pretty he hits pretty hard, so that's good. Um, goodbye there. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's what we're doing for this week. Um, I will be. Oh, what's this? Uh, if, see, if this was like two months ago, this would be probably solid, right? Yeah. Oh, defense too. Very good piece of gear if you're earlier. You could put that on one of your healers. Bonus heal is always good. And there's nothing in here I want to buy. Uh, I have been buying a couple of heroes randomly, but not right now. So really, we're just going in here and farming. Because I finished, I finished this one. I have all the heroes here leveled, all the heroes, all the heroes leveled, and all the heroes right here leveled. So now we've got eight more, eight more levels to do for faction, for faction guardians. Um, I was going to start farming here. However, since there's an event where we want to champion train, I'm moving over to 12. So now we've just been leveling here. Okay. Um, I don't want to. You don't want to waste energy when you're trying to accomplish these some small things from these quests, all right? Um, because right now is a great time for them to have this fusion because I'm stuck on the arena quest. I, I'm, I'm just stuck. So until I get another, I think I, got, I just broke 500 today, I think. So I'm like 520 or something like that. So I need another 280 medals to get to the next quest to start moving forward again. So yeah, I've got a good couple of days before I need to really worry about anything. So now it, it doesn't really kill me to do this right now. It's not like it's taking away from anything else I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do some of the stuff for the fusion, get the hero, you know, level the other hero up, the the rare, and put him on my teams and see how she does. Um, she looks like she's pretty good. The other one's a poisoner. I, I like I like getting heroes. I don't really care about using them so much, um, except for the rares. I'm. It's cool because I'm actually learning more about this game doing it this way than I would if I just got a bunch of legendary heroes and started banging away on legendary heroes. It's, it's just really, it, it's such a distraction, legendary heroes. Like, they're, they're a huge distraction. They're a huge investment. And if you put all your uh, resources into one and you don't like one, you're going to be not leveling up another one of those for a while. Because, I mean, I think I have, what, 11 books, right? I think I have 11, yeah, 11 legendary books right now, I think. All right, I've got about 21, or 20 or 21 of the epic books, all right? And I've got no rares because I use them all. But I have a ton of rares that are maxed now because I didn't worry about that stuff, so... You're, if you get a legendary, I, I wouldn't put any skill books in it, even if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now. The only legendary I'll be putting skill books into as soon as I get them is Arbiter. And that's because I will be doing it during a clan versus clan. And I will get a crap ton of points. It'll be a clan versus clan where... Oh, we're out of energy. Um, I bought some energy today too, so but I'm not doing it anymore. I used a lot. So yeah, we're just going to be leveling the... Oh, nice, he's 30 now. So now we can do that. I want that skill book. That's why I'm hoping it, it does it. Let me see. Upgrade rank. He's going to be champion training. Like I said, I don't even have any of these heroes yet, so I, it doesn't matter if I waste a couple of three stars. Get him to four. And ascend. Boom. So how many blue potions do we have? Oh, we're st yeah, I'm going to need a lot of these. So I, when the keep opens, I'll pop into here. But this is more than enough to get me through. I just need more of this, so that'll be easy. I can just farm a couple, and it'll be nice and easy. Um, I'm definitely short on red, which I don't need any right now, and green. So, yeah, I, I just need to do a little bit of farming probably every time that these pop up. I actually farmed this a little bit today be to uh, level the other hero. So that's why I have enough potions to do this. So he's good. Boop, done. Um, I have a four star. What am I doing? I don't want to do this. I want to upgrade rank. Where are we at? Do I have any that can be upgraded? No. Upgrade level. Let's see. Because I want to get back to doing three. I do this sometimes. I'll get really bored of leveling things, and I'll use these extra heroes that I get, and then I'll throw a bunch of ones in there just to clean up my inventory a little bit. There we go. And I also don't like having to mix and match the uh, heroes that I'm putting in there. Yeah, I just waste. Any of the heroes that you... A drop from you running these uh, th th from leveling heroes. A lot of them I just kind of waste, and it's because I like to do things faster. 
it's probably not the best option, but if you don't have energy, it is. Uh, we're now we're doing upgrade level. Yeah, and usually I only do it when it's like I have. Who, who don't I like? I don't like you. He's an extra. Uh, I usually only do it when I have too many heroes. This is not one of those cases, but I just want to get caught up with all the heroes and be able to pull three in at once again because I've, I've been pulling at the extra hero once his face in there. So, yeah, I want to get these two out of here. There we go. And be ready for later. There we go. One, two. Goodbye. All right, so now we got two more three stars replaced. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven three stars right now, and I have enough here to make a bunch more. And I'll easily get more of these heroes, so that's probably what we'll end up doing. All right, so I'm going to fill my, my whole roster with three stars as much as possible until I get all the new heroes. All, no, sorry, all the, uh, the fusion heroes. We'll level those all up to 30 and then level them all up to 40, basically, with all these three stars. So, and I'll be picking up probably a couple extra heroes on the way. I'll definitely get a couple dogs and a couple of the Diabolists that I can use for extra food. So I probably won't even have to, you know, do these. Because I was farming Lizard Man for this, for, to get all this stuff. So now I'm farming the high-end one, so I'll, I'll blow through these fast and I'll get a lot of heroes quickly. So it'll be good and nice and easy. Now let's see, I don't think I have a ring for him, the one I just upgraded. Do I? I do not. I have no rings. I did buy during the last clan thing because there was nothing in there that I needed. Uh, I got 600 points. Uh, what about points? Uh, gold. 600 clan gold. And I did buy a bunch of new stuff. So I have these. The revenge amulets I was buying from the clan shop. Some of them are pretty good. Uh, I'm going to level them to 16 probably because they're all really good. I got that one. Here we go. I got this one is orc which is really good, which I'll use for, and I just got this one too, I think. Yeah, I just got this one. So I have a defense and an attack one, so that's good. What is it? I got a bunch right now. Here, this one. This I may put on, I was considering putting it on Frozen Banshee because that accuracy is sexy and I need that. Uh, yeah, and the counterattack. So she's gonna have counterattack gear counter actually what do i have on her i think i have an attack amulet on her is what why i, I was going to do it because i wouldn't normally pick attack for her yeah i have attack i would honestly probably put defense on her but it's so good so she's got the extra turn she's got a bunch of masteries that give her the chance to hit again is this the one what is it these i think are it oh these are all of them that's why I, i've never done this Inflict the damage of being whatever. Either way, I have a counter. Yeah, it has a six. You have a, she has a chance of counterattacking. Either way, it's not important. So she has a chance of counterattacking, and then on top of it, she'll have the revenge amulet, which will give her another chance of counterattacking. Which is yeah, five percent chance to counterattack when hit. So essentially, she's going to be a counterattack machine for for clan boss, and that's why she's going to work so well and do so much damage. Uh, so that's the orcs ones we looked at. Like I said, I got a couple other ones. Here we go. Demon Spawn. I don't really know who I want to put it on yet. It is crit damage, which is very good. So we're going to try to get that onto somebody that's Demon Spawn since my Demon Spawn team sucks. Um, I have the two dogs and the demon, and I think I have Diabolus. Like, that's it. I don't have any good Demon Spawn. So I'm, I'll be very excited to put that on somebody who's an attack hero. I got this one a long time ago. Uh, it's a Revenge Banner. Defense, which is good for mostly the Ogrens, because a lot of them are defense-based, so that's good. And then I got this one, which I haven't, I was going to put on, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, nice, revenge amulet for uh, Apothecary. And then I saw it was crit damage, and I was like, ah, damn it. So I don't know who I want to put it on yet. I have a couple of high elves. I could easily put that on, uh, what the hell's her name? That stupid elf. Actually, I could put it on... That poisoner I want to put in clan boss. We'll see. A defense is better for clan boss anyway. So we'll see how that goes. Do this defense. I have attack and HP. So this would probably be better for clan boss. But I mean, that counter attack and crit damage might be good. We'll see. It depends on who I use. Yep. So I got a bunch of nice revenge accessories that I bought. So that's good. So we will be switching some of those out soon. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. So. 
I just wanted to kind of do a quick one today. Like I, I, I'd really like to start doing these more often and in smaller sections. So it seems to be an easier way for me to do it rather than try to sit on for an hour and a half and explain everything I've been doing for the last few days. So I think I might try to do it this way. That way we can kind of break it up a little each day. So that's what we're doing. We're going for the fusion for Orn. We're not trying to get Morgan. It's not very important. And I don't really feel like putting my entire life into this game every day to try to get some mediocre hero. So that's why we're not doing it. I mean, is she great? I'm sure she is. I'm sure she would do wonders if she's plus four also. So if you like her, go for it. Have fun if you have enough uh, resources. But if you haven't saved up, you know, a good a good couple of million in silver and a bunch of potions, you're probably going to have a lot of trouble because you're going to have to farm all that in the next two weeks. It isn't that fun. Really, all you got to do is get the heroes. And then the rest of the time, you're just trying to do things so i i'm sure it's not as hard as i would make it out to be but it's definitely annoying at best so that's what we're going to do that's day 102 and uh yeah i'll probably try to hop on i'm moving this weekend so i will probably not get too much time to uh really get on this weekend so i may have to wait till halloween maybe i'll do a halloween episode real quick and go over what i did for the weekend and because I'll probably still have my game on auto while I move everything. That's the good part is that I can do that. All right. So thank you very much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.